so we have masked the last and we are going to be making the pattern you are seeing on your screen right now so first of all we draw our center line so after drawing the center line there are two lines on this side of the last you see the two of them not this one we're not going to use this one but the second one which run through the toe down to the other side of the last so we are going to start the drawing from here so on that line that is where we are going to start the drawing from so after taking this line we are going to take a measurement from here to somewhere here one inch one inch measurement so we take one inch here so after that we are going to come to the feather edge here from here to somewhere here we measure 1.7 inch 1.7 inch one point seven inch then we're going to join here and here that's the two measurements we are going to join them with a line so I'll run my tape from the one inch measurement down to the one point seven inch measurement and then I will join the boot line or the boat measurements together so after that we're going to take a curve at the center line here take a curve and then we're going to give a gap of about 0.2 inch and then we take another line very close to the second line so we're going to take it down to the center line and uh, at the end of the center line we're going to join it with the second line with a curve so we have to join it with a curve here you see it join it with a curve at this point so now we are going to take a measurement from here to here again another one inch measurement one inch measurement So after that we come down to the feather edge again from here to somewhere here we measure 1.7 inch again 1.7 inch 1.7 inch then we are going to join these with this that's the 1 inch measurement and the 1.7 inch measurement so I'll place my tape run it down to the 1.7 inch and then I'll take a line to join both measurements together. So after that, I'm going to measure from the center line to here half inch half inch measurement you see it here make sure it's at the center from here to here half inch again so now i'm going to create a gap in between that's at the center of this one here i'm going to create a tiny line make sure it's at the center and it is going to end at that half inch measurement So I'm going to do the same here to make sure it's at the center. It is just like dividing the two lines into two equal parts. You see it? So here's the center. I'm going to divide it into two with just two lines. And it is going to be very tiny in between the two lines. That is dividing the main lines. You understand? So I'm creating a gap at the center of it and it is going to end at that half inch measurement so with that we are done with the drawing 
so we are done with the sketching you see what we have this is just the part one of the pattern so we are going to proceed to the next one hope you can see it so we are going to proceed to the next step now we're going to cut it out so after cutting it out remove it from your last draw a straight line on your cardboard paper you see the line here you see the line so now I'm going to align the center line of the pattern to the straight line so do that and make sure you avoid too much crease So after that, make some adjustments and corrections if there is need to. So now I'm going to add the lasting allowance and I'm going to be adding one and a half inch as the lasting allowance, one and a half inch. So add it all through and then bring down the lines to the lasting allowance. All the lines are coming down to the lasting allowance. So you can use your ruler to bring these ones down, the center lines, use your ruler to bring them down. So after doing that, the next thing you are going to take a measurement from the center line here to somewhere here, half inch, half inch measurement. Here is the half inch. And then we are going to join these two outside lines together with a curve passing through that half inch measurement. So that is it. So after doing that, the next thing is to cut the pattern into shape. So this is what we have arrived at. We are done with the whole process. So now you mark on your leather and then you turn and mark again to get the two pieces of pattern. So this side you're going to mark into two times. Then you turn again, you mark this part two times again for the two side of the foot. So. We're going to duplicate this one so that we can try it on the last.
so the one piece pattern is okay but i'm doing this so that we can try it out on the last so now we have the two piece now watch closely to see how i'm going to join the both of them together you see just to watch closely so you pass this one from the center to the center of the other one you see it so let's go again watch closely you see split it then pass it to the center of the other part you see it we go like this and then we have the pattern complete so i'm going to staple it so that it can stay together while we try it on the last so this is what we have arrived at if you have any question feel free to drop them in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon to get updates because uh, more videos are still coming on the way the video on how to get the lines on this uh, last that we used will appear now on your screen just tap on it to watch if you have not watched it before so those lines will help you to create your pattern and also help you to last your patterns properly so have a nice day and um, see you in my next video